everyone. I'm Tina McIntyre, Florida Friendly Landscaping Agent with the University of Florida IFAS Extension. I'm going to show you how to have a Florida friendly yard while still incorporating edible plants. Right now we're all stuck in our homes and it's time a great time to get out and grow some food and grow some Florida friendly plants. So what we were just showing you, that's our native quarter weed which has a purple tiny flower and it's really great at attracting um, native pollinators, bees, butterflies, and all types of insects into your yard. Where I'm sitting here, you can see I have a pineapple patch and the pineapple patch has become overrun with weeds. So what I'm doing today is actually removing some of the weeds, which includes dollar weed, and some Biden's Alba, which I'm sure we all have. So I'm gonna get rid of all of those. And once I've discarded all of the roots of the weeds from this area, I'm gonna start to enhance my soil and plant the pineapple. So, you know, maybe you purchase a pineapple like this from the store. Well, we have this top here and that's not trash or waste. What we're gonna do is actually take that top and remove it when we cut it off we're gonna root it in some soil so that it actually grows some roots or you can stick it right into the ground. Once we've removed the weeds, we have our pineapples ready to go that I've been saving over the last several months. And you can see it, the soil is very sandy. Most of us have sandy Florida soils, but the top layer I've been enhancing with organic material and compost. So you can see here, I have some nice soil and nice compost that I'm going to be adding into this area. So what we would do is we're gonna plant our pineapple using the native soil. The pineapples do like it sandy, so it's an ideal crop for Florida. And we're gonna add some of our organic material and our organic compost. This could be from your yard, See, I have some oak leaves in there, that's good. Pineapples like it really acidic, and so they don't mind the, the native acidic soils. Once I have that topsoil there, I'm gonna add some leaves. So you might have oak leaves like I do, or other types of leaves, maybe pine needles, pine straw, and this is gonna make a great mulch. So right now, it's incredible incredibly dry. We haven't seen rain for a really long time and there's none in the forecast. So it's important that we add organic material and mulch sustainably to our landscape. So we don't want to chop down trees to create mulch. We can use leaves as a nice substitution. We don't have to go to the store. We don't have to buy anything. We have tons of them available. So this oak mulch is slightly acidic and it's going to make our pineapples really happy. And then when it does rain or we do irrigate, it's going to hold the moisture right there at the root zone so that it protects this pineapple. And these are Florida friendly principles that can be applied to your native quarter weed, to edibles like the pineapple, or really to any plant or tree that you're working with in the landscape. So again, we looked at today enhancing our soil with some organic material and nice soil, nice compost and utilizing a mulch to cover the soil, prevent weeds, hold that water, and uh, make our plant nice and happy. We also looked at reusing and utilizing material that we're already creating in our kitchens to make a better um, landscape. So if you can't um, actually you know, plant or you don't have a yard for yourself, just remember to choose Fresh from Florida right now. Our farmers are uh, struggling and so it's important that we support Fresh from Florida along with planting Florida friendly in our yards. So best of luck to you and happy gardening.